Alright, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. I'm the Mysterious JG, and this is going to be another one of those videos where I haven't been playing in a little while, so let's see how long it takes me to figure out what the heck I was doing the last time I played this game. Uh, I have been watching other Let's Plays, including uh, another Let's Play of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 10, or 11, excuse me, which is getting like twice as many views as mine. So, uh, I'm not going to talk about that one. Ben, I've been watching uh, a certain someone's Let's Play of a different Romance of Three Kingdoms game. He just got done taking down Ma Tang, which inspires me to great deeds against Ma Tang. He also threatened to report me to Joe Walsh for singing in the city too often, so, um... I don't know what I would do if I couldn't constantly go in the city. Uh -huh. It's survival classic child! When you leave from day to day. Boo -boo don't have much okay, troop strength at Jiang Yang is very weak. Let's look for the opportunity to capture it. What will be your next move? Where is Jiang Yang? Oh, Jiang Yang's right here. Well, thank you. Thank you, Zhu Ge Liang. Uh, for the first time in a while, I can say your thoughts coincide with mine, which is, as I mentioned, somewhere else, I think. On the comment section, probably. That's what Cao Cao would say. Every time one of his strategies came up with a good idea, he would say, Your thoughts coincide with my own. As though he thought of it first and didn't want to say anything. So, fuck you, Cao Cao. Anyway. Cao Cao was easily the smartest of the rulers. All of the rulers had advisors who served them. But, you know, like Liu Bei had Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong and, the tai and that ilk and... You know, the Suan family had people like Zhou Yu and uh, Lu Jun, and then Cao Cao had some really good advisors too, like Gu Jia and uh, Simi Yi. But um, yeah, Cao Cao was easily, of the guys who actually like ran things and wasn't just paid to strategize, definitely smarter than Liu Bei. I love Liu Bei to death and all, but he can be kind of a dumb guy at times. Alright, so what is going on? Well, we've conquered pretty much... Uh, shoot, yeah, you know, I don't think I made as big a deal out of this as maybe I should have. Possibly because, well, no, I don't think Jiang Yang, I think that ended up being a waste city. But, um, yeah, Shu's basically been conquered, folks. We have taken the rich and fertile lands of Shu, and it's time for us to start expanding outside of the territory that Liu Bei actually held at its height. Although, um, I think some of this territory that Ma Tang has, eventually Shu got a hold of, but I think some of this territory over here will end up being Wu's, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Now it's, uh, we've got 180 action points, and what are we doing here? We are getting ready to attack, uh, Jiang Yang. That's pretty much next. we got Liu Kong in there, he's like, Oh no, everything's falling apart from me, I'm Liu Kong. Poor Liu Kong was basically just a kid. In the novel, his, uh, mother and, like, her corrupt cronies, uh, arranged things so that Liu Kong took over instead of his brother when Liu Biao died. And uh, Liu Kong surrendered to Cao Cao, and Cao Cao uh, basically had, had him murdered. So things didn't really go that well for him, but, um, you know, he tried to sell out Liu Bei, and uh, you just don't do that in the Romance of Three Kingdoms novel. There's no faster way to uh, turn yourself into a villain than to oppose Liu Bei. JG Mystery, coming into town. He's coming into your town, he'll help you party your town. Okay. What do we got going on in this town? I want to get this town fully developed before we move along. This will be one of the best towns of my empire in the end. Uh, I got six pieces of free land left. I've got... I have room for... That would maybe room for another market. A stable, a workshop, a shipyard, and then I'd have room for two more things, which will probably end up being another market and perhaps another farm. Let's get all the domestic stuff built that we're going to build before we start worrying about anything else. So that the cash can start rolling in. Vulture Bobo is going to help with the construction. That must be used really be out of useful political officers. Sorry, Bobo, but it's pretty much true. So this will leave me with four, then I have three, and then I can do one more, more of each. Yeah, that's what I don't think I'll do. I'll just, I'll know that it's time to stop building. I don't think Mr. Sirius is even in this city. But if I see Mr. Sirius being recommended as an officer for, you know, political stuff, 
That don't mean that I've hit the end of uh, useful political officer stuff. Yes! See, what did I tell you? He is in this city. That's not what I told you. I told you exactly the opposite. But, um, I was right that it's pretty much over as far as, uh, useful political stuff. However, this, these two guys can drill, baby, drill. Like nobody's business. That still leaves me with some points for, let's see, is this city fully developed yet? I don't think it is. It was also pointed out to me by uh, a certain somebody who doesn't seem to like me singing in the city, that um, this city has like 15 facility slots and that I really shouldn't underestimate its worth. And he has a point, because if you play as a non-mon, which while it would be considered a challenge, is certainly doable, it can't be too much worse than starting out as Liu Bay with one city in South South, breathing down your neck, but if you play as a non-mon, this is pretty much going to be your best city. You non so I suppose it makes sense that it would be not worthless. So let's get some guys developing here. What have I got going here? Oh, yes. I do not have enough gold to build. Yeah, that's right. This place was having some uh, financial blows, wasn't it? I won't even have enough to inspect if I build that market. Do I have enough gold that I can sell some food? Yes, I, I can afford to sell a little food. Let's not go crazy with the amount of food that I'm going to get here, but... We definitely need to get more farms and markets going so that I don't start running into some severe shortages here. I think we've decided to market, market. There's going to be a mint here eventually. Down here, in the meantime, I do already have a granary in place, so let's head to the farm. Another shrimp on the Barbie. Let's do some inspections. There's only one guy left now to inspect, but it's Shank Bay, motherfucker. He can increase order by just belching loudly. And, uh, might as well stop by our Chengdu. Maybe spread some gold around to our loyal vassals. And that's gonna knock out, well, no, not all of them, but a good chunk of money. Remaining points here, and uh, that leaves me with 20. What can I do with 20 action points? How are things going in Jitong? Jitong is going to be important. There are no officers in Jitong? Okay. Maybe I can. No, they're, they're already pretty well drilled, actually. Outfit. I got 20,000 spears. Do I want to actually get some other stuff going in here? I think having enough pikes for one good pike unit, enough crossbows for one good crossbow unit, and then I'll just start throwing more stuff into pikes and crossbows. But how many troops do I actually have in the city? Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn impressive. And you think about getting some towers, because I've lost track of where all my towers and stuff are. I might want Chengdu to start building some towers and sending them up here. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, folks, uh, Ma Tang's time is coming soon. And uh, I'm going to want to launch my main attack out of Zhitong. Because while it's kind of a long, ro a long, long way to go, and while coming through this gate... Well, you know what? Yeah, I have to cross the plankway. I'm going to lose some troops. There's no way around it. There's going to be some losses involved in taking Hanzhong. In fact, you're probably thinking, why don't you just move right out of Shangyong and into Hangzhou? And well, you know, I probably will send some guys out of there too, but the idea is that um, I'm going to have Cao Cao on me. If I pull out of Shangyong, they're going to come from Wan. Even though Wan is not really, well, 36,000, yeah, it's pulled itself back together a bit. But, um, this is going to end the turn of the Ube's army, folks. So I better, uh, better be sure this is what I want. Why do you guys have 4,000 troops in that harbor? Your main city is about to fall. You want to pull some of those guys back, maybe? No. Let's see what these troops in South South are up to. 
what are you about, man? You gonna, you gonna come attack me with a bunch of swords? Meng Jian has successfully employed Liu Kai. Why, Liu Kai will join Liu Bei's army and help in whatever humble way I can. Yang Kai is successfully employed Mahjong. Let me lend Liu Bei my strength. Wei Qigong has successfully employed Wu Yi. Hey, Wu Yi! And so forth. Those are spears, not swords. I don't know what I'm talking about. Please give us your orders. Now the peaceful music is playing, because I guess JG's unit was on the march, and that was causing the war music to play. Hmm. Anyway, things are peaceful and happy and calm. Let's start developing something else. We do not have a mint yet. I need that to change. Xing Tsai, you appear to have the lowest poll score to these three, but you're still pretty damn impressive. You are, after all, a created character. So, get to work. I'll get to the workman right away. Alright. And let's get order up to 100 so that we can get really efficient. Oh, Jang Fei's leader is now 86. Alright. Soon, very soon, we're going to pull Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, and Liu Bei up into this area so that the three brothers can attack. I'm thinking of pulling the other three brothers, myself, Shi, Grimmeth, and Boba the Vulture, up to Shang Yang, or possibly once we've taken out to Jiang Yang. For a mysterious JG, or JG mystery to actually be useful, I pretty much need to have him in a city that needs to develop because he's got, like, you know, the super high political score. And what do we got here? We got three guys who. JG Mystery, Chai Kyung, and Mr. Serious. Well, whew, those guys have a horrible poll scores, but JG Mystery has an awesome poll score, so we can kind of balance things out a little bit. I've got room for three more facilities. How long will each of these take to build? This will be 50 days. This will be 50. This will be 50. No, let's not do that. Let's, uh. Maybe I can leave them out of it, and I can just recruit myself. So that I get some teens. Uh, and they can restore order. Two of them cannot restore order enough to undo the damage I did to public order with my mad recruitment skills. Meanwhile, these guys got... Uh, how many troops? 60,000 troops. Here they've only got about less than 40,000. Chengdu and spread some more gold around, though, don't I? Not in transport units, just in rewards. Chengdu is such an awesome city. It's not even funny. Oh, but I cannot, uh, there's no officers to give gold to. Okay, well, forget it then. Be that way. Not this way! Dog G's unit has been destroyed. That makes me sad. Dang Jian's unit has been destroyed after something else had happened to it, which I assumed was it being destroyed. Developed a market. Jiangling! Jiangling! What will be my next move? Well, it depends on how long term you're talking. Uh, I'd like to get uh, military reform, but I need another 2,000 TP. Alright, so. There are still seven free pieces of land down here. The great general Yan Yan is helping us out as well. Gold is down to 200? Didn't we just... Oh, the mint costs, like, a lot of gold. So didn't I just get done selling food? Alright, well. All right.
Alright, Quan Ping, I hear you're dating my daughter. Let's go drill the troops together, have a chance to get to know each other. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> that sounds great. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Alright. Meanwhile, back in Yang'an, which is not really the city I care about. What am I doing? I want to go to, uh, Jiangjin. Is that right? No. Where the hell am I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be... in Jiangling. All right, now I can work together with decent uh, political officers like Sun Quang, the guy who hired me, and Liu Bei, the guy who I technically work for. Yeah, you guys are not going to build something. Don't be silly. there. I had three officers left, but by not just blindly accepting the computer commands or suggestions, I stretched them out and got them to do lots of stuff. Which left me with no action points to use anywhere else, but what are you going to do? I wonder if there... Are there more... Uh, do I have more prisoners? Let's see... Forces... They don't count as prisoners. What am I doing? What is the most efficient way to find prisoners? Is just to go try to hire some. And yeah, I've still got like a bunch of prisoners over there. Not to mention all the Liu Kong prisoners. Dude, there's big freaking piles of prisoners. All right, well if I don't want to waste a ton of turns, I better get these guys over here to try to hire a couple. Nobody can hire Wang Li. Wang Ho can hire Yang Hui, so that's good. Who can hire Zhang Ren? Nobody. Who can hire Zhang Yi? Somebody. Who can turn the world on with their smile? Alright. Now I'll head back up Chengdu way. Because it's actually closer, even though it doesn't look like it on the map. And try to get them to hire either this dude, no, who was the other one that nobody could hire? Somebody could hire you. Nobody could hire you, and neither can Chen Dao. His face is just continuing to show up to confuse me. How about Zhang Lang? Do we really want him? He's a decent political officer. Which would make this a good city to put him in, actually. Because it's not near the front line. Alright, let's end another turn. Turns are coming fast and furious now that I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you know, the different maps give you a different view of what's going on. It really looks like Cao Cao and I are, are the dominant forces now, and Sun Quan, Sun Quan is tiny. But uh, he looks pretty big on that other map. Anyway, Meng Huo has successfully employed Yang Huai. Hi, Yang Hui. We'll join Liu Bei's army and bring. You know, help. That I'll stop talking now. Guan Jing has successfully employed Zhang Yi. Guan Jing! Let me lend Liu Bei my strength and my awesome helmet with a cool plume. Liu Pan has successfully employed Zhu Bao. I will aid Liu Bei in this conquest because I'm Zhao Di Bao Di and. Yeah. Alright. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Troop strength of Zhang Ying is very weak. Zhang Yang is very weak. Let's look for the opportunity to capture. It is now your turn. They haven't recruited any new troops, it looks like. Um. Whoa, so you guys just kind of wandered up here and I didn't notice at all, huh? I was expecting a musical cue of some sort. Well, that sucks. Okay, it's a shitty spear unit. Uh, there's 7,000 of them, but it's still pretty much a shitty unit. So let's, uh... Let's get a super kick-ass pike unit out there and kill them. Kill them dead. Our best
Badass Pike Jenner. Yeah, I was expecting this. But let us have somebody drill first. And let us not have that person be Guan Yu. Or Zhao Yun. In case we need them later. And then we will march out an awesome pike unit to, f to stomp these guys super dead. We will give them 1200 gold just in case that makes a difference somehow. And we'll give them a shitload of food. And they will... Try to extinguish the fire, I'm sure, why not? Hurry up and... Urinate on the fire that's like three hexes away. Well, two hexes. Yeah, so 10,000 S spears or S pikes against uh, 7,500 C spears. We should have this well in hand. Uh, it's a matter of whether they feel like sending more reinforcements out of one. So, back to what's important, which is developing these cities so that I can uh, set some of this stuff to auto run. to get four markets, four farms, and I'll still have one of every other kind of facility. So let's get another market going, because it's money that's giving us problems here. Uh, what? Oh, I've already got something building there. Yeah, that would definitely uh, hinder my plans to build a market if there's already a market being built there. I can see how that would... Uh, Drill the troops, I guess. Yeah. Liu Zhang will help with... The soldier drills are finished. Liu Zhang helped with that, not because of his stellar war score, folks, but because... He didn't have anything else to do that day. I'm telling you, that is exactly why he was helping in that. Okay, we've got loads and loads of gold, so uh, what do we want to do here? We want to build a workshop and a shipyard, so let's build a workshop first. In theory, I think the shipyard should be close to the water, it just feels more like uh, logical that way, so let's build the shipyard over here. It'll take you guys 40 days, that's okay. Bobo the Vulture, lead the construction with your able bodied, intelligent political friend. Way on, and whoever the hell the other guy was. I understand. Yeah, I don't know why Boba talks like that. Ma's asking him not to, but he doesn't always listen. Get some loyalty increase. Let's try to hire some political prisoners. Nobody can hire this guy. His loyalty's 81. But his lord is still alive, so yeah, Fu Tong would be perfect for hiring Feng Shi, because Fu Tong has, you know, got great powers of persuasion. Look at him there with his 63 charisma. I will aid Liu Bei in this conquest. Oh, Liu Kong just, I don't like you anymore. Tang Jiang might be able to hire Yi Ji away from. Um, my good friend Liu Kong. And if he fails, it won't take him very long to fail. That's nice. What do we need to outfit? Or, Mr. C Mr. Serious, I'm not gonna use you to outfit. like, the worst possible results on this. Well, recruiting he'd do okay, because he has a good war score, but, eh, forget it. Meanwhile, in our happy and wonderful town of Zhitong, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Let's reduce order and increase troops in this great city. 
that is going to launch a great big attack sometime in the great future of Shu. In the meantime, I guess uh, we'll start paying more attention to our front line with Cao Cao, since like, not even glancing at it for two or three turns uh, seems to have been a poor strategy. Chang Poo's unit's been destroyed, so that's a shame. Don't think you can trick me that easily. I have Zhuge Liang fanning me to keep me calm. Tang Xiang has successfully employed Yiji. Get me the hell away from this sinking ship as fast as you can. Our oh, relations with Liu Kong have worsened. So sad. Now I'm just, uh, wondering if more troops are coming out of Wan. These guys are just going to get themselves killed by my freaking uh, towers. Awesome. Ultimate towers, Cao Cao. How does it feel? Now, are their towers actually increasing hit points on their own? I don't think so. I don't think it works that way. I think you have to actually finish building them. Oh, let's use some tactics, why not? Let's pull them... No, I don't actually want to pull them away from my towers. If anything, I want to pull them closer to the towers, but... Or, like, in the middle of all three towers, so they can't escape from the next round of attacks. Oh, I must have officer sounds out, because he didn't go... Oh, well, they're going to be crushed very soon, anyway. So let's get uh, officer sounds going. We'll see how long it lasts this time. <laughs> Alright, folks. So many action points to spend, it's incredible. I really do need to think about attacking Cao Cao. And uh, somebody, I think Nine Inch Nails Eight Halos told me to go after Wu. But he also told me that he thinks I'm homosexual, so... Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, stick with the game, shall we? Jitong. There's nothing wrong with being that. I just don't happen to be that. I'm just, uh... Heterosexual Let's Player. This is a very heterosexual, butch, and manly Let's Play of this game. And, uh, weirding himself out at this point. Now, Wu Ling. I don't really have anything I need to do any in these cities. I think Changsha... Are these cities all fully built up? I mean, if by some chance I, I leave one of them undeveloped, the computer will take care of that once I set them on autopilot, but... No, no searching, that's not gonna help anything. Yeah, these guys just don't like us. Not one bit. <coughs> mm. Do I have... I do not have any towers in the city. So let's build some. food to Zhitong before I launch the attack on Zhitong. Zhitong has got a lot of food in it, but it's going to need a lot to launch a, the kind of attack I'm thinking about. And it's going to be much easier to reinforce Zhitong with food than it will be to reinforce uh, Shang Yang. It's another reason why it would be nice if I could lead my attack out of there. When the time comes, as it is coming very soon, to take out Hey, Fu Tong has just got all sorts of connections with this force over here. Let me lend Liu Bei my strength and my awesome blue hairpiece. Yeah, he doesn't like us. Boo hoo. Wai Jun, no. Fan Jun, no. What about Yang Bo? No. What about Zhang Lei? No. 
Oh, I've gotten what I'm going to get as far as that. Uh, there's no space for development. Excellent. So I've got five officers here. Let's recruit some more troops. Mr. Sirius may be useful in inspecting, so we'll leave him to that. I believe Jiang Ling, with its 63,000 troops, should be able to take Jiang Yang at this point. You already moved, didn't you? Yeah, of course you did. Alright. ship. Why the hell not? Ships take a long time, but uh, as long as I have manual control over Chengdu, I think I need to have them constantly building a ship. So that by the time we're ready to attack Wu, I'll have a nice supply of ships in either Jiangling or uh, Changsha. Or, of course, by that point, Jiangling. It's gone just over half an hour now, but I think I'll end the turn and play through one more turn before I call this one a video. Other than... Um, or announcing Nine Inch Nails Eight Halos and uh, declaring my intention to constantly sing in the city. Uh, I can't really think I've done that much in this video. This has been the most peaceful video in a long time because I'm building up cities that I've conquered and I'm not ready to really roll ahead and attack anyone else yet. But that's coming soon. Oh, they stole my supplies. Let's see if my towers can finish them off. And rob Guan Yu and Jing, uh, Zhuge Liang of deeds and uh, whatever. Pretty sure towers cannot capture officers either, of course. But they were barely left alive. 36 troops in his command. Excellent. Well done, buddy. And we stole their food. Excellent. Which is why we have 250 days worth of food. I'm gonna destroy that tower before I bring him home. Take, take me home. You know that Phil Collins retired from music? Apparently this is something that happened only recently, but... I saw it in, like, uh, the BBC w website, and I was kind of like, seriously? This is news? Sorry. I'm not being disrespectful to Phil Collins as I should be, perhaps. Alright, we've got tons of officers free, but no freaking gold. Zhang Li would be perfect, or Zhang Yi would be perfect for these searching orders. I found an officer named Zhu Rong. All right, Zhu Rong. Woo! Female character who is not a created officer and actually has more stats and leader stats high enough to lead units. Excellent. This is, of course, Meng Huo, the non mon king's wife, and in the novel is supposed to be descended from some kind of, like, pagan fire goddess, as opposed to, like, you know, <laughs> a non-pagan fire goddess. Um... Yeah, let's try to hire her. Thank you for your offer to serve, but I can't accept. If you have a debate between an officer with an intelligence of 69, woo, 69, and Ju Rong, intelligence 27, I could let the comp I could just skip this, but I actually would like to see just how big of a difference this is going to make. Watch the debate, yes, and I also like to see. I don't know when I'll next get a chance to see Ju Rong's in-game avatar. So wrong, yeah, baby. I'm not a match of a debater. Ah, whatever. Yes, he doesn't really look that crazy to me. Oh, she's got like a yellow thing. Well, let's uh, try Logic 3 and... Yeah, neither of them actually good at this. Must be some sort of pithy saying I can employ. Awesome. Be pretty, pretty ridiculous if I lose this debate now, but must slow down. Got to think. 
Damn it! Do not want to lose the debate to the barbarian woman. Well, yelling at her will help. <laughs> Shut it, bitch! Intelligence of 27. Probably not gonna cut it here. And she's bold. They're both... Well, oh, she's reckless. He's bold like barbecue sauce. Truly, this is going to be the finest debate in the history of debating. Calm down, Maybe you should try calming down. Come on, 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 I do have a ridiculous intelligence advantage in this one. I mean, if I wasn't winning by a lot, I I should be winning by more than I am, really. To avoid embarrassment. Time. Maybe it all comes down to luck. Clearly, you could have out-argued me, crazy barbarian woman. You're not as good as you think. And you don't think you're that good. You're just really, really bad, actually. Hmm. Zhang Yi has successfully employed Zhu Rong. So wrong. I hope to play a part, however small, in the base conquest. Hopefully you'll be less irritating than you were in uh, Kessen 2, when you were just a like, ridiculous character design. Alright, I said I was going to end the turn. I didn't realize there was going to be a debate, but let's keep going. Shall we look around for more officers? Yes, we should, and Dong Yun was going to help us with that. He found an officer named Yang Fang. He's presumably another crazy non man officer. Thank you for the offer, but I can accept. 74 versus 50? Uh, yes, and let's skip the debate and see what happens. Yes, the computer allowed me to win, even though I didn't jump in and do it personally. And my relations with non-existent Nanman force have, you know, decreased. Uh, search. And Guanping? Guanping! This is... Hi, oh, good news, I just found an officer named Gu Shi. It's like a chick again. And she's got really high intelligence. She could probably school Guanping in a debate, actually. I'm sorry, but let's forget all about this, shall we? Ooh, yeah, you know, I'm probably not going to win this debate if I do it manually, but I have 0% chance of winning if I let the computer do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a video, and we're going to try to see if we can pull out a big upset when we come back, folks. So when we come back, prepare to watch uh, Guan Ying, the pimply-faced little teenager, get all flustered and hot under the collar and unable to speak intelligently in the presence of a beautiful woman. That'll be something to look forward to for next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks.